Corey Westra, the commissioner of the Great Plains Athletic Conference, was in Yankton on Wednesday to speak at the Yankton Quarterback Club. Westra began with the news from last October that College of St. Mary will join the GPAC starting with the 2015-2016 academic year. St. Mary, which sponsors eight women's sports, will become the 12th member of the league. The Omaha-based school also has a five-year period to add track and field, Westra said. Uh, I'm here to talk about the GPAC and the NAI, and it's exciting to be with you again today. And you know, a lot of times I come here and I kind of say it's the same things over and over, but I really can't say that today. We've had a busy year. Uh, we've had a lot going on, and I'll start with our most exciting news of the year, and that's that we are expanding. We are expanding in the Great Plains Athletic Conference into the Omaha market, and we will be adding College of St. Mary uh, out of Omaha starting this fall. Uh, it's been a great process to go through. Uh, an interesting process to go through since uh, I had never been through an expansion. Uh, so that was, uh, you know, a lot of the documents, uh, you kind of had to go back into the vaults a little bit. A lot of phone calls to people like Chuck and say, you know, what do you got in your files from back in 2000? And, uh, but, you know, we did find all the information we needed and uh, they've just been great to work with. Uh, you know, walking through that process a little bit, uh, you know, they were interested in the GPAC before. Uh, we just weren't maybe ready to expand at that time. Uh, but this was actually one that we went to them. Uh, we went to them this time and said, we, we really feel like we're ready to, to make this expansion uh, in Omaha. So, uh, you know, they had some discussions on their end, first of all. Uh, they did not take that lightly. Uh, they had to go to their board and they wanted to talk about whether they were ready uh, for, for the Great Plains Athletic Conference because, to be quite honest, they're coming from a smaller league, uh, you know, with maybe not as many sports and not as many uh, scholarships and, and, and expenses, you know, and some of those things, although their travel is significantly more in the Midlands Collegiate Conference that they're in right now. So they really took that pretty seriously. So they spent about a month or two on their campus just talking about the readiness factor, and they said, yes, we are. So they applied. We have an application form that they fill out. It's actually more, more or less just a letter, and they send it into the league, and we send them out a document that outlines our Constitution and our bylaws. And they have to meet some constitutional and bylaw requirements to be a part of the GPAC, and it's simply a checklist. Um, you know, do you do this? Do you do that? Uh, do you meet this article? Do you meet that article? And uh, across the board, they did meet every article of the Great Plains Athletic Conference, except that they did not have men's sports. And of course, we knew that. We knew that going in. And, and last time around, that was kind of a discussion item of whether or not we were ready to add, add a single gender school. So, uh, of course, knowing that going in, that was uh, obviously on our radar. And our conference had agreed uh, up front that we knew that we wanted to change our constitution. So uh, we have done that. Uh, we have actually changed the requirement that it can be uh, men's or women's sports now within the GPAC, but we have made it that uh, you have to have a certain amount. Uh, they are actually short uh, right now uh, in one sport, um, so they'll have to work to add that sport. And the one they don't have is track and field. Uh, they, they, but they will be working to add that. We've given them a five-year time period to add track and field. And, you know, I don't think that that's too big of an ask. I think that the, in the Omaha market that they'll find a facility and they'll be able to do that. They actually uh, met the or requirement. We say volleyball or women's soccer. Well, they actually had both there, so that was a plus one for them. But, uh, you know, they're not a very large athletic program. They have seven sports that they'll bring to the GPAC, eight overall. But that being said, they've been very, very competitive. If you look within the NAI Top 25 in women's basketball, uh, they're right there. I think they're number 10, 12, something like that right now. Um, I sometimes wonder if the Raiders forgot about our schools the last couple of weeks and think that CSM's in our league because we only had three teams rated last week in the top 25, which came as a shock to a lot of people and kind of lit up the Twitter world a little bit. And especially when you look at the Massey ratings and you have seven of our schools within the top 15 of NAI Division II, we only had three in the top 25. As Jeremy eloquently said yesterday, the world's back on its axis a little bit this week. Uh, uh, Briar Cliff uh, came in as a tie for 25 uh, in the poll yesterday, so we have four women's teams back in the top 25, which we're tremendously excited about. So, but uh, College of St. Mary's ready to go, and we're ready for them. Uh, uh, Dr. Lorraine was his first meeting uh, at Mount Marty. It was a very lengthy discussion among the Council of Presidents, but a, a very good conversation. And there's a readiness factor on the conference side, and that was probably the biggest thing we had to work through was <coughs> the schedules. And for the most part, we're just uh, sliding them into the schedules on the by days because they become our sixth Nebraska school. So there was this natural buy throughout the schedule. Uh, we're going to put them in there. Some sports that did not work with. Volleyball was one where we kind of had to revamp the whole schedule, uh, reorder it and those types of things, and uh, we worked through that. Uh, it does create the gap in basketball when the women are playing CSM. Now, there will not be a men's game. Um, you know, there's options out there. There's still grace in Omaha that people can go play. Maybe that's a game that could be picked up, but it's one night, well, two nights. 
on the round robin schedule. Um, so they bring over to the GPAC uh, volleyball, women's soccer, uh, their cross country teams, their women's basketball, softball, uh, and tennis. Uh, and then of course they also have a pretty pretty bolstered swimming uh, team as well. A very nice swimming facility. Uh, we really don't have a lot of swim teams within the GPAC. Uh, we do have Morningside who has both genders and then Nebraska Wesleyan has one gender of swimming. Maybe that's one that's a little bit on the rise. So looking forward to that next year. Uh, it's Fast and Furious coming at us in the fall.